What does compact mean? One of the most popular buzzwords recently is to be compact. What does that actually mean? Well, if anyone has the answer, I'd be happy to read what the answer is in the comments below, because I frankly don't really know. Does it mean to have the bridge hand very compact and close to the cue ball, a compact bridge distance? Does it mean having the bridge elbow bent so that the head is compact to the bridge arm? Does it mean having the back hand forwards or vertical perhaps so that we're very compact or the shoulders tight and pressed so that we're compact or the legs close together so that we're compact? The other two areas that compact may mean are to do with cueing. So does it mean having compact cue actions, short cue actions? Or does it mean having a short backswing so that we have a compact backswing? There are problems with both of those in terms of a short cue action, may not, a very short cueing actions may not allow the hand to get a feel for whether the cue's moving straight and for the speed of the shot you're going to play. The compact backswing it isn't necessarily a good thing. Why restrict the length of your backswing? This, we'll address this a little bit more in other videos, but if you imagine Ernie Els, the golfer, having a half-length backswing, that would be a compact backswing, but he's not going to hit smoothly, is he? He's going to have to over-accelerate to quickly generate the speed in the club head instead of very smoothly. Same with cueing, if you look at the best cueing exponents, Ronnie, John, Mark, Selby come to mind, they tend to be longer on the backswing side, so the opposite of compact. So how do we resolve this? Should we be compact? Should we try and get a compact stance, technique, bridge hand, cueing action? Or is it a case of identifying each of these areas that we touched on previously and finding which is best for us. And ignoring dogma or ignoring the, the prevailing opinion or fashion of the time. Going back to what we said at the beginning in terms of a compact bridge distance or bridge elbow, the problem with shortening both of those is that we have an issue with what's called leverage. <coughs> As my elbow bends a little bit further, then as my bridge elbow bends, the grip hand moves up the butt of the cue. If, as I make the shoulders more compact, the bridge arm also moves up the cue a little bit so that you have less distance from grip hand to bridge hand. If we exaggerate that, if I have the grip hand 12 inches from the bridge and the bridge 12 inches from the cue ball. The one inch error on the grip hand will give a one inch error on the tip of the cue. The further back you move the hand, that same one inch error on the, on the grip hand has a much smaller effect on the tip of the cue. So when we're looking for stance, actually having a slightly straighter bridge arm, but not ramrod straight, like some of the old books used to say. And having the shoulders, rather than close, a little bit more open, will transport the grip hand further back along the shaft of the cue, gaining automatic accuracy from that point of view. And the other thing, of course, is that if if I'm very close, if I'm very compact and my head's close to the cue ball, sighting is less easy. I see less of the cue. My elbow's a bit straighter, my bridge hand's an inch or so further back, so 11 to 12, maybe 13 inches away from the cue ball, the V of the bridge hand being 12 inches away, that is. I can see more of the cue. Both balls are more in my vision. So being, from that perspective, being more open, actually assists 
but not only the accuracy, but our ability to read the potting angles as well. And I've, I've seen this quite a lot where just seeing an extra inch or two of the cue makes all the difference between players struggling with these half ball pinks, for example, in the corner or high blacks in the corner pocket where they're just hitting the same side of the pocket every time. And often all that's needed is seeing an extra inch or two of the cue, all of a sudden they can see the potting angle crystal clear and they start going in with uh, great consistency.